Speaking at the signing of the 8th and final annual budget of this administration, President Mohamed Buhari said the aggregate expenditures of 21.83 trillion naira is an increase of 1.32 trillion naira over the initial executive proposal for a total expenditure of 20.51 trillion naira. President Buhari explained that a 2022 Supplementary Appropriation Act would enable the administration to respond to the havoc caused by the recent nationwide floods in the infrastructure and agriculture sectors. He said the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning will subsequently provide more details of the approved budget and the supporting 2022 Finance Act. The 2023 budget that I have the honor of signing into law today provides for aggregate expenditures of 21.83 trillion naira, an increase of 1.32 trillion naira over the initial executive proposal for a total expenditure of 20.51 trillion naira. As is customary, the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planner will subsequently provide more details of the approved budget and the supporting 2022 Finance Act. We have examined the changes made by the National Assembly to the 2023 Executive Budget Proposal. The amended fiscal framework for 2023 as approved by the National Assembly shows additional revenues of 765.79 billion naira and an unfunded deficit of 500 and 53.46 billion naira. The president also said the National Assembly has introduced new projects into the 2023 appropriation bill to the tune of 770.72 billion naira. Detailing his decision to sign the 2023 appropriation bill into law as passed by the National Assembly, President Buhari claimed it was to enable its implementation to commence without delay considering the imminent transition process to another democratically elected government. I also urge the National Assembly to reconsider its position on my proposal to scrutinize the federal government's outstanding ways and means balance of the Central Bank of Nigeria. As I stated, the balance has accumulated over several years and represents funding provided by the CBN as a lender of last resort to the government to enable it to meet obligations to lenders as well as cover budgetary shortfalls in projected revenues and or borrowing. Meanwhile, he urged the National Assembly to reconsider its position on his proposal to secularize the federal government outstanding ways and means of balance at the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. Organic Victor, ITV News.